Welcome everybody Thanks. to Full Throttle Vision Live. Well, not live as much as we're going to record this and Full Throttle Vision. We're going to start doing this podcast. It's going to be a video podcast. It's going to be a regular podcast. You're going to see this on all of our social medias. This is the first show of many to come. We're going to do this weekly. We're going to be filming on Wednesdays and then uh, airing on Thursdays. So we're going to have new people on all the time. And uh, one thing I want to do is is say hi, introduce ourselves. I want to introduce the co-host is going to be Jeremy Jerski. He's out of Toledo, Ohio. We'll let you talk to him here in a second. And uh, we got a bunch of pictures today. We're going to bring him in and uh, we're just going to discuss uh, where we've come from with Full Throttle Magazine and the bike shows we do and all the stuff we've done around the world and why we're going to be doing the show, who we're going to be interviewing, all types of fun stuff. But that's what we're getting into and uh, super excited about it. Uh, our, my first podcast, video podcast we've done. Now, I've done a lot of shows before where we talk and and uh, so it's kind of like the similar thing, but we're super excited. If you are watching this on a podcast, make sure you go to FloridaFullThrottle.com or uh, look up Florida Full Throttle. You can find it. We're going to put this on all of our socials, on our website, basically YouTube, anywhere we uh, we have a platform. This will be on there, so you'll be able to watch it on any platform out there. We are sponsored by attorney Fran Hosh, 866-LAW-FRAN, lawfran.com. She sponsors uh, Full Throttle Magazine and pretty much everything we do in the state of Florida. She is uh, Florida-based, and she is a uh, uh, injury attorney. So if you're on a car accident, bike accident, uh, you want to call Fran, don't be afraid. Everybody gets afraid, they seem to, because uh, attorneys going to take money. Well, they're only going to take <clears throat> money if they make you money. So they're going to work hard about making you money so that they can make money also. So that's how attorneys work. So if you ever get an accident, call 866-LAW-FRAN or go to lawfran.com. Uh, oh, there it is right there. Perfect. That's, so you can see that's her logo. She sponsors a ton of stuff across the state. She does a lot of stuff with us in Daytona. Um Awesome woman, awesome family, sponsors a lot of great events, pets, vets, animals, you name it. It's, they're always doing something. But now let's uh, introduce our co-host. Let's go back to our three box here and uh, say hi to Jeremy Jersky. Jeremy, what's up? Hey, hey, what's up, Tony? So I see you got the full throttle shirt on. Hey, uh, let talk to everybody real quick. Tell everybody where you live, what's going on, and kind of how we met up and uh, got working together doing bike shows and everything back in. If you don't know, Jeremy, I've been friends since we were, what, 14, 13? Yeah, about 13, yep, 13. Yeah. I remember coming to your house the first day before school. Yeah, we were, uh, he said, come over. You know, I said, okay. And uh, they're doing a gravity bong in a sink, and I'm sitting there going, uh, I have no idea. I didn't know what weed was. I was an idiot. And they're like, here, do this. And that was a two liter that went down. Do you remember that? Went straight. I was so high. I dropped these kids off at school. Didn't even know where I was. Yeah, we got Tony high for the first time of his life. It was a, it was an experience to watch him get <laughs> stoned off his ass. It was a real good experience. We kept under the sink as a family. We were a pot smoking, acid tripping family growing up. That's just how it was. You know, you kept it, uh, you you kept it. Uh, you 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 did not keep it discreet. It was public. You told your dad when you got high. You know, you kept it that way. That kept me from doing bad dope. It kept me from running with the wrong crowd. You know, if you're gonna get high, get high at home. And Tony was uh, part of that a couple times, but we got him so high, we probably knocked the whole thing out. He probably ain't smoked weed in about thirty some years, but yeah, we got no, Tony. No, no, it wasn't my wasn't my thing. I I, I hung out with you guys, but uh, uh, I'll tell you, it was I never got really got enjoyment out of it. It was too much for me. So, but yeah, anyway, the whole thing was the whole thing was if you showed up in the morning, you had to bring some kind of reefer <laughs> and some kind of form, roach weed, a bag of weed, a bong. You had to bring something, or you couldn't show up. So we'd get like uh, I don't know, we get ten, fifteen people every single morning to show up, get stoned. Sometimes we get so freaking high we wouldn't even go to school. But Tony would because he didn't go to school with us. Tony went. To yeah, I know. I went to a school. different school. I always dropped them off and then got to go to school. Actually. It's so funny because back in the day, your dad had bikes. Now, if, if uh, um, we could pull up that, it's black and white because it was old school. It's an old picture that I sent uh, over to see if we can pull up here. It was an interview with you and your dad's bikes. And, you know, yeah. we didn't know we were going to be bikers back in the day when we grew up. But we knew we were on motorcycles and Jeremy's dad was a, a biker, had what, a shovel and a pan? Yep, a 56, uh, 56 pan dual glide and a uh, 79 shovel. 
And that was, um, I, I'm kind of throwing them to the mix here, see if we can pull that picture up. I, I know it was in the messenger. Uh, we'll see if we can pull that up. But we did an interview on you back in the day in Full Throttle Magazine when you were, what, 16, 15, 16? Uh, it was neat because. It had, I had to have been 15 years old, I think, 15 or 16, yeah. I'm going to see if I can send it to him. We can bring that back up because that was a an interesting interview. That's back, because, uh, that's back at the beginning, back when your old man was still doing the magazine way back in the day. And yep. uh, he came in and don't know, me. Actually. That's the first, yeah, that's the first time that I met your father. That's the first time I met Paul Sr. Yeah, I just said it there now. We'll see if we can bring that up so we can show that in the show here itself because it's great. I mean, and who knew, Jeremy? We we uh, grew up. I At 18, I moved away to Florida, and you stayed in Ohio. We both had kids at that time. We were growing up doing our thing. Um, lost track for, what, about 20 years, I'd say, right? A long time, man, a long time. I think it was, uh, shit, I'd say maybe uh, 2000. Shit, 2009. Who'd you come down with? What was his name? 2009. Oh, La Bamba. La Bamba. (laughs) So you and La Bamba come down to Bike Week, and I find him, and he says, I'm going to be at Bike Week. I'm like, okay. Well, Jeremy, uh, in the years that we were not hanging out together, had a little little checkered past, and uh, so he comes down, and I'm like, you know, are are we we the same person? Are we not? You know, you're talking 20 years in between. But he comes to Bike Week, and we have a good time. They get – I think a ticket for parking somewhere you shouldn't, and you got in trouble. You know, you're staying at that house oh, yeah, where you guys had to be in at like ten o'clock. Yeah, <laughs> and um, yeah, they told the truck. They said, you know what? Like, like, and then we said, come down next year. I'll buy you a ticket, or you know, come down and I'll pay you to come down and work. I mean, you obviously knew your well, stuff. You helped me with my show. And that was oh nine ten. I didn't come down to fifteen. It was still some years. You waited out. You started looking at all of us that were in jail or dead from dope or whatever happened from bad decisions. You're like, I don't know where this dude's gonna be, man. Is he gonna come down here and be an ass? Is he gonna be a weirdo? So it you, you took you about five years to fill me out for you. Like, you know what? I'm not gonna pay for you to come down. You come down on your own dime. You know what you're talking about. You come have a good time. We'll see what happens. And here we are today. That started off two. The story too. That first time you came. The first time you came down, you came down on a train. Train, 19 and a half hour train ride. Oh, yeah. 